and new YouTuber says PXX RPG Queen, otherwise known as Hikari Silver. And today, instead of a Let's Play, I will be covering on how to connect a PS4 to a monitor and standard anywhere you can get speakers or a soundbar. So, to get started, you need your stuff hooked up to a TV. Uh, this is also my PS3, and it's PS3 camera. Um, I put my PS4 over there to show the difference so that way it'd be easier. I'll show you how to set it up from start to finish and troubleshoot anything that goes wrong. So first things first, you need to hook it up to the TV and you need some certain things. So before we start, let's show you guys what you're going to need. So what you're going to need in order for this to work, first it has to be hooked up HDMI or whatever way you hook up your PS4 normally to the TV. In order to get it to hook up to the monitor, however, you need a couple of things. You're going to need, more importantly, VGA, if it's a VGA mo monitor, this is specifically for VGA to PS4 only tutorial. If you want DVI, it's sort of similar, except substitute the VGA cord for DVI. Most monitors nowadays are going to phase out VGA completely at some point, but as for now, seeing as my monitor is not really super old, it only has VGA. So this is what the tutorial is for. You need a VGA mail to mail cord for this to work. My, my monitor already is hooked up to VGA mail-to-mail -mail cord, hence this black cord right here. Super awesome. All right. Also, what you're going to need is an adapter. Uh, this adapter I got out of my local micro center. I also put up links to Amazon. It needs to be powered, which is why this purple cord is here. Um, if you want to try this with the Xbox 360, you don't need it to be powered because the USB ports supply enough power. But for the PS4, it doesn't. And in order for this particular... Uh, VGA monitor to HDMI to work, it needs to have 5 volts. So it's hooked up to something that has 5 volts. Trust believe me, I tested it earlier, it works. It works fine. Um, so now we need to go ahead and change settings. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to go ahead and go into your settings. Uh, also, if you do not know if your VGA HDMI adapter is HDCMP compliant, turn it off. I know mine's is HDCP compliant, so I don't have to worry about stuff like that. And if you don't know what HDCP is, please Google it or other thing wise. I will make another video if there's enough requests about the difference between VGA, DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort, which is going to be fun, or a display adapter. I will be more than glad to make a video about that. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you want to go to settings, sound, and screen. Right now, mine's is set to 1080p because my TV supports it, otherwise it give me a really nasty error saying it doesn't. The only thing you need to change in video output settings is the resolution before hooking it up to the monitor. If you already know what your resolution is, you have several options. Do not leave it on automatic. Nine times out of ten, it will not display correctly. So out of all safety, just go ahead and put it on 480. All applications and use will close to reflect the changes to your setting. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say yes again. It's going to change. And you're going to say yes again. Of course, that means it's shitty right now, of course. So, also, if you don't know if it's HTC compliant, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to system. The only thing you're going to change changes enable HDCP uncheck it I know mine's is compliant so for the sake of my video I'm going to leave mine's uncheck and you're gonna say yes but if you disable HDCP you can't use apps like Netflix or if you use Plex media server like I do it won't work and I will show you what I mean I have Netflix it's not gonna work because I need to enable HDCP but my monitor works for that, so I'm going to go back and change it just for all sakes and purposes. And we're going to change it to enable HTCP. And it's changed back, so now it doesn't, I don't have to worry about it, I can run Netflix. So now you want to go ahead and shut down your PS4. This also can work for the PS3 and all those other consoles, but I don't, I will, sh actually no, I will show you guys how to do that with PS3 at some other point. So go ahead and turn it off. And 
And now that I know it's completely off, I can turn off my TV. Yay! So now we're going to come over to the monitor setup that I have over here with the PS4. Unless your PS4 and where you're going to put your monitors in relatively distant place, mine's is together for the sake of the video. So what you're going to do is you're just going to unplug the HDMI that was used initially for the TV. Now, you're going to go ahead and plug in your adapter. See, this end is for HDMI, clearly. This end is for VGA. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook it up. Everything needs to be powered off, by the way. Do not do this and think that everything will work out. See, now it's plugged in. It's powered, so make sure you have something powered. Mine didn't come with its own adapter, so I was creative and bought some things from several different stores. One of them is five below. It works out fine. So the next step is to put the VGA in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the VGA in. Sweet. And also, make sure it has an audio adapter. If not, you can use your PS4 controller to plug into audio. My speakers do. So, these are relatively cheap speakers. I think I spent like $8 on them. Make sure it has a 3.5 mm audio adapter. So, you can even use Bluetooth speakers if you want it for this. Really easy. So, next step, mine has an audio display with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in there. Sweet. So, now I can get audio out of my speakers here. Turn it up a little bit. And we're going to turn on my monitor. And my monitor turns on. So, right now it says no signal, which is normal because PS4 is not on. So, I'm going to turn it on now. And also, I'm going to show you how to change settings once you initially get past the loading screens and all that good stuff. So, just adjust the volume a little bit here. Just be a little patient. And give it a sec. Again, you can always enter into PS4 safe mode. Tons of videos on YouTube for that. And to change the resolution. But I did it before on the PS4 so that things would go more smoothly. So if any of you are having an issue with the monitor, which at this point I think mine's is actually having an issue, give it a sec. Because a lot of people report that it has a black screen issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. I know mine's initially supports 1080p, so I could have left it at 1080p. But again, for my video, I'm not going to do that. So let me put that down. There we go. So let's see. Okay, so this is unusual. Make sure it's in the wrong, right port. Make sure the, pa the powered adapter is working. Ah, powered adapter. It was the power adapter. It wasn't plugged in all the way. So, clearly this works. Um, next step. If your resolution sucks, you just go right on back into your settings and change it. But as you can see, it is possible to hook up a VGA monitor to PS4. I clearly just did it. I had a little buff there because I didn't plug in the power adapter all the way. But my audio is coming in fine. And again, if you don't have speakers, any, any regular speaker will work. Even a Bluetooth speaker. All it needs is to have that aux cord. 
And if you don't have an aux cord, you can always just plug it into this little tiny hole right here. Any kind of headset. Any. You can buy them literally from dollar stores or wherever you get them. Don't have to be super fancy. But if you don't know how to put them on, I will show you. So, my PS4 is password protected, so I don't go nuts. Um, sorry. Yeah, my PS4 is password protected for several reasons. Really cool. You can change that in your security settings. And boom, PS4 is working. So, just go back to your settings and again change the resolution if it's not nice. But 10, 40, 40, 480p is really safe. Um, so you plug it in, your headphones, and then you go to quick menu. Adjust sound and, and devices. So when you plug in, um, just change the volume and the output to headphones. Output to headphones. So put all audio. So if it's a chat headset, put all audio. And then change the volume from here. But yeah, so this is really cool, especially if you don't want to disturb anybody. But again, this is my PSN account, so definitely feel free to send me messages or like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, this is PXX RPG Queen showing you guys how to hook up a PS4, PS4 right there, to a regular monitor with headphones. Again, all the links for all the equipment that I use are going to be in the description. Again, if you like it, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And keep on the lookout for more updates. I am in the middle of the Let's Play for Dragon Age Inquisition and trying to wrap up Legend of Dragon.